finding the center of enlargement. If I want to find the center of enlargement, I will have two shapes. I will have an original shape and its image. The idea is to join points that are equivalent on these two images. So for example, the top left hand corner, those are two equivalent points on the two images. Now what we're going to do is draw straight lines and I'm going to show you very crudely to start with and I'm going to do that deliberately to make a point. So we join these two points and extend a line. We now find two other equivalent points. How about these bottom left points? Draw a line from those. And then let's, oh we need to extend this one. So let's do that one again. And then we need to find a third point to verify. So how about these two points here? Let's go across. And so where these lines cross, we're over here. This is where your center of enlargement is. Okay. Effectively, we've got enlargement lines that trace from the center of enlargement through the original shape to the image for each point. Okay. Now, I've done it crudely to make a point. If you don't have squares, then you would just do this with a ruler and a sharp pencil and you would try to be very accurate going through exactly where the points are and if you do that accurately and you do it for three points the three lines will meet exactly at a point not just roughly okay however we have squares and when you have squared paper you should make the most of that and use the squares be accurate. So instead of just roughly drawing a line we're going to count squares. From here to here is one, two, three down, one, two, three, four, five, six across. So three down, oh let me use my line tool, three down, six across, I get that line there. So if I go another three down another six across okay I can count that with my ruler and find this point here if I want to go further another three down another six across and keep going now you might also be able to see and if you can it's an even better bonus that it's going through these other points which are one down two across one down two across one down two across Okay, so to continue this line perfectly, I can go one down, two across, one down, two across, one down, two across. You basically use this to keep an eye on where those squares are and put your ruler in exactly the right position. Okay, so that line is now accurate, very accurate, because it goes perfectly through the square points that I can see it's going to do. Let's now take the second pair of points. So these are an equivalent set of points. Okay, the bottom left ones. I'm going one, two up, one, two, three, four, five, six left. Okay. Two up, six across. What's that? Actually, it's one up, three across, one up, three across, one up, three across, one up, three across, and so on. And now my line, my line is drawn not just approximately but perfectly because I can count squares and see that it's being perfect as it goes across. Okay. Now if you are perfect and you don't make a mistake then two lines is all you need to find the centre of enlargement. That is very risky though and it is very easy to check so you must do a third pair of points to check that that is actually the centre. Okay. So two more equivalent points, we could do these two, or we could do these two. Let's do both, but we'll do, well, let's do these ones first. Okay, actually to make the point, 
so we don't get confused. Let's move these. So we're going to do these points next. So draw that line. Ah, this time we're just going across. We're following this line perfectly. So I just keep following that line perfectly. There we go. Three lines perfectly meeting at a point. So this point here is the perfect center of enlargement for this enlargement. Just out of interest, let's do this last one. Let's count. One up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten across. One up, ten across. So if we kept going, one up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten across, it would go through this point as well. So from here to here to here is going one up, ten across, one up, ten across. It's following a perfect straight line. So if we put that on, it would look like that. And that would be a fourth line. Three is plenty. If they all agree, that's fine. But the principle will work with any pair of points on your shape should all go through the centre of enlargement. So to recap, join equivalent points with a straight line using a ruler and a sharp pencil. But if you have squared paper, you must count the squares to get those lines extended perfectly by counting squares with the pattern that you see between the two points to start with. Where they all meet is your centre of enlargement and you would then give the coordinates if this was on coordinate graph paper.